Hey everyone, it's kind of an obvious thing about music, but unless your instrument is with you, you can't actually play. So today, let's take a look at a guitar that's specifically designed to travel with you no matter where you go. It's called a traveler guitar, and let's have a look. So I've had my Traveler Guitar EG1S Red V2 electric travel guitar for about three months now. And I just want to show you the whole guitar and then we'll go over all of the features in detail. If you're familiar with guitars, you might already have spotted a few differences from a more typical guitar but I'll point out those differences and I'll explain why they make the Traveler guitar a guitar you can travel with. So here's the guitar all in one frame. And the first thing you might notice is the missing guitar headstock with the tuning pegs. So this is a metal end cap and through an innovative design, the strings are secured here. They run down the neck as normal, across the bridge, wrap around, these pulleys and then are secured to the tuning pegs which are located in the middle of the body. This saves on length and in fact this guitar is about 28 and a half inches versus about 40 inches for my Fender Strat. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the Traveler guitar and my Fender Strat. And you'll also notice another design innovation. In order to save on weight, they have reduced the scale of the body. And the guitar weighs a little over four pounds. Here's a side view. The neck and body of this particular Traveler guitar are mahogany. But even though this guitar is a lot shorter than a standard electric guitar, the neck is a full 24 and 3 quarter inch scale neck. So you can play just like you were on a regular guitar. You don't have to change your fingerings or feel too cramped up. This guitar has one humbucker pickup and this knob adjusts your volume. This knob adjusts your tone. Also, by clicking that knob, you can cycle through the four tone effects of clean, boost, distortion, and overdrive. On the side of the guitar, you have a quarter inch guitar jack, a headphone jack, and an auxiliary in jack. And for power on the back, here is a compartment for two AAA batteries. That means that not only can you carry your guitar with you onto the plane, but you don't need to worry about an amp. You can plug in your headphones, you can hook up your guitar to your iPad or laptop computer, and you can jam just as long as you want without disturbing anyone. But of course, you can plug this guitar into any amp just as you would any other guitar. So now let, let me just play a couple chords so you can hear how the guitar sounds. So that's the clean channel. And now if I click this tone pot once, you'll get the boost channel. Click again and you get the overdrive. And one more time for distortion. And 
now back to clean. So I've been using this guitar for about three months now and I've been traveling with it in the car and even on the airplane. I took it to a short trip to Bermuda. So it works great as a travel guitar. I can easily just plug in my headphones and iPad or laptop and I can just jam away and not bother anybody. Yet I can also get in my guitar practice. The shorter overall length of the guitar and the shorter body scale does take a little bit of getting used to. In other words, the, the body will rest a little bit differently on your leg than say a, a normal standard electric guitar. But overall, I really like the fact that the scale length of the neck is full size. So I don't have to really change the way I practice and the muscle memory that, that I'm learning in my fingers, I don't have to change or worry about. I like the fit and finish of the guitar. It's held up well in my travels. Um, everything seems solid and rugged and well built. I will comment though that when I first received the guitar, the end cap here, it's a metal end cap, had a little bit of abrasion to it. So that was the only fit and finish aspect of the guitar that really wasn't up to snuff. But everything else I've been happy with. Going down the road, I might change the strings that came with the electric guitar and I'm toying around with the idea of changing the pickup as well. But otherwise, I've been happy with it. The guitar stays in tune. It's easy to carry. It's easy to play. And the nice built-in uh, clean boost overdrive and distortion settings means I don't have to worry about carrying around my amp with me as well. Oh, and I should also point out that this Traveler guitar came with a really nice soft case that is custom designed to fit this Travel guitar. So here, if you can see, the Traveler guitar fits exactly in this case. And what I really liked is that I can pack some extra clothing around this guitar, close it up, and now I don't have to carry as many bags. I've got my guitar with me. I can just throw it in the overhead luggage compartment and I'm good to go. I'll put a link down in the description box below this video to the specific Traveler guitar that I have, but I will note that the Traveler Guitar Company does make other guitars, so go check them out if you would like more options. So all in all, I really like this Traveler guitar, and I hope this review has been helpful to you. If you'd like to see another review video that I made, click right over there, and be sure to thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more review videos coming your way. Thanks a lot and look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah.